Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be playing around with Primark dupes for Charlotte Tilbury. You heard that right? Primark dupes for Charlotte Tilbury. Primark do the most epic dupes. I think most of the time, the hits, but occasionally they, they don't get it right. But I was walking through Primark doing a big old shop. If you see my Primark haul, then you know exactly what I'm talking about in this video already. But if you haven't, then go check out that video because I did my first ever haul, did a bit of a try on and yeah, it's like a different video for me. But yeah, walking through Primark, found a few bits and I was like, ooh, this looks familiar. This looks really familiar. This looks very luxe, looks very bougie. So I was like, ooh, have I found a dupe? And we all know that Charlotte Tilbury by no means is cheap. It's not affordable, it's definitely on the high end. Like their lipsticks like 20 pounds plus, the foundations are like 30 pounds plus. It's like high end luxury makeup. So if you can get that kind of quality at a fraction of the price, I'm like, let's let's test it out. So I picked up an eyeshadow palette and a cream highlight. And I actually found another like Jo Malone dupe as well. It's a rose and oud fragrance. So I thought we could open this together and smell it. It actually says the fragrance notes right here. If you, if you can have a look at that. It says floral, woody and leather. And to be honest, I've been really into scents like that. I love sweet scents. But I like, I like a bit of woodiness now as well. I feel like my nose has changed. Like my my taste has changed it has a little uh, description at the back i'm gonna read it a modern classic sophisticated and enchanting rose petals warm clove and raspberry with patchouli vanilla bean and amber the perfect evening floral for an unforgettable night Ooh. it actually is really nice it smells really expensive so if you look at the packaging i'm not even joking that looks so looks to me like the gold head but it's got like like a detail in there what how do you even describe it like it's got like this scratching detail all over but the the fancy type so you've got it saying ps rose oud it's a decent amount of product i think it was three pounds it smells so good spritz myself mm. oh yeah that's so good you know what i actually think it might be just as good as the Jo Malone one. I'm getting like really, really strong notes of rose and then like oud, but not over overpowering oud, which for me, if you were to like overpowering oud just makes me think of like an Arab man. And that's not how I want to smell. Or that's not wanna be, what I want to be thinking about when I'm wearing a scent. Um, so yeah, this is like a really like nice feminine, like light oud scent. If you love the Jo Malone and you want a cheaper dupe, honestly, head to Primark and get that one. Amazing. So obviously I've done the rest of my makeup off camera. I did powder down a little bit, but I'm not highlighted. So that's what we've got this for. So this is the Cream Wand Luminous Finish Highlighter. And this was £4. It's like a really nice kind of like light champagne peachy shade, which I think might work as not just a highlight, like a blush highlighter situation and yeah i'm really excited to just put this on my face four pounds for a blush highlighter from primark is like more on their steep end so i'm assuming like this is more of their luxurious collection so usually their cream highlighters and stuff are usually like two pounds three pounds open her up and just like the charlotte tilbury one you've got like a sponge at the end so i'm gonna just squeeze that product because it's not even it's not even at the top I can't get to the bottom. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's a twist. It's like a turning mechanism. So it's like on and off. That's good because I got one from Beauty Pie. So Beauty Pie do good Charlotte Tilbury dupes. Like I could, I've done a video on that on my channel if you want to check it out. Really like it's cheap makeup. But it's like high end luxury makeup. The quality is so good. And I tried their liquid contour and it was pretty much bang on like the charlotte tilbury one but there was no on off so every time i travel with it it's literally gathering a shit ton of product in the lid and like when i close it it like it spurts out it's horrible so i'm glad this has like an on off mechanism 
Oh, it's so much lighter than I thought it was going to be. So that is it. It's not as metallic as I thought it was going to be. It's like a peachy sheen and it kind of leaves the skin looking wet. This is the kind of luminosity levels that you're going to be getting. It's quite funny. I've got my little pigtails going on today because my hair is still not being washed and I don't really know what to do with it. So I was like, pigtails is. Well, plaits, plait pigtails. Also, if you live in the UK, it was snowing today. Like, what? <laughs> so, yesterday it was a storm and today it's snowing. It's just a madness. It is a genuinely madness. I, I love the snow, so I'm not complaining. But what is going on? <laughs> okay, honestly, that is a really nice peach colour. And I'm just going to pat it in with my finger. Another, another video where I'm, like, giving you guys the middle finger. <laughs> I don't know why this is the finger like I naturally gravitate towards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? Oh my god, it literally looks like nothing on the skin. And it dries down really nice and it sits on top of like powder really nice. What? And I think I can just about get away with it. Like it's leaving a little bit of a cast. But that's because I'm pale right now. But I think in the summer, this will be mm, chef's kiss. It'll be really good. It felt really nice and cooling on the skin as well. Like, it just felt really nice. And I can't feel anything on my skin. And it's really thin and it's high shine. And it just looks so pretty. Oh, I love that. I love that. I do think it is a dupe for the shot to be like, if I come in closer, you can kind of see like the peachy kind of shade and i'm not joking when i say a little goes a long way because i have not even used what's come out on the brush a little bit of texture on this side so let's see if it like makes my texture pop or anything but i don't think it will honestly like that hasn't even picked up on my texture i can't believe it like i have texture right here but because this feels really like hydrating also on the skin <laughs> it kind of makes the texture disappear i feel like it's kind of meshed into my skin oh my god this is i love this look at look at this i've squeezed it so much so product wise i don't think you get a lot because the tube is like half empty <laughs> but generally i feel like it this would last you a long time because you don't need a lot and a little goes a long way and it's freaking beautiful on the skin like I am in awe so I'm definitely like doing it on top of like powdered areas now I'm like in love with this product four pounds guys four pounds for a Charlotte Tilbury dupe like I literally run and get it because it's amazing Especially if you're like a makeup artist, you could save so much coin getting this one instead. It's actually not brought out any texture, no texture at all. Looks stunning on the skin. It does leave a teensy teensy bit of a cast on me. This is my winter skin tone, so I'm pale right now. But when I tan the summer, this will be perfect. This would be amazing for a medium skin tone. I can't even like stop looking at myself like in, in the mirror. I'm like, ooh, she's shiny. <laughs> so next i've got the eyeshadow palette so this is the ps eye palette it just says ultra pigmented long wearing so you get a little mirror amazing and this this is the eyeshadows like tell me that is not screaming charlotte tilbury mini pillow talk eyeshadow palette like genuinely these are the actual shades and they just look so nice. The shades are like pretty much spot on and it looks so, so luxe. I cannot wait to get into this. I do want to swatch them. There's only like six shades, so I don't mind swatching them. Okay, so these are the swatches. So as you can see, they go from light to dark. They are very, very pigmented, very beautiful, very soft eyeshadows. I feel like the mattes can get a little bit crumbly. So if you if I bring this in closer, you can kind of see that the some of the shadows have got a little bit crumbly. Mostly the mattes. <laughs> this last shade is quite interesting. The shade Espresso. It's like a 
like half shimmer half matte it's like a hybrid so i feel like we're just gonna do something quite like warm toned ready pinky kind of thing and i've got pink top on so i feel like we've got a vibe so the first shade i'm going to take is this shade called latte okay so that's pigmented right off the bat it's blending out really nicely well, i like that it's really nice Okay, so that's a really nice transition shade. Uh, there's nothing I can say about that. Like, that just worked really well, very easily. Then next, I'm gonna go into this shade called Blushed, which is a nice, like, matte, pinky, ready shade. I've got a nicely diffused transition shade going on there. And I'm going to take this shade called Espresso. It's like the dark kind of hybrid shade. And I'm just going to put it right on the outer edge just to deepen that up. There is a bit of fallout, won't lie. But the eyeshadows are really, really soft. They like formulated so soft. So there definitely will be fallout, but it did do perform. And if you can see, hella, hella fallout. Brush and just wipe it away, that fallout. It's kind of made a little patch here, which is a little bit annoying, but we're just gonna, you know, persevere with this. Um, next, I'm gonna take the shade called Lux and put this like all over the lid. It's a really nice like reddish shade. Ooh, that is, that is so pretty. That is a gorgeous shimmer, gorgeous. I think this would be the perfect palette for someone who likes quick eyeshadows, that just likes these tones, or like for work, or just like an easy date night look. This is like the perfect palette for that. Because so I feel like Charlotte Tilbury, her eyeshadows are marketed towards people that like everyday makeup she adds like a few little nice shimmers and pops of color so you can kind of make it a day to night look so i feel like this is very very similar to that I would wear this at night like you could do a smoky eye with this you can definitely make this like an everyday look as well use a little bit of this brown shade a little bit of this light shade perfect for everyday like running around work errands whatever <laughs> it's a really like nice little versatile palette especially if you love these tones okay i'm gonna go into like this silk shade which is a nice like pinky toned shade i'm gonna take that in the inner third just to kind of like bring some lightness back oh that is stunning that is so pretty like i really can't complain this is really really nice I really like the shade. I can't believe like we've used pretty much every shade in here. Now the last shade I've got to use is this Prosecco shade. It's like a nice like champagne -y shade. I'm gonna stick that in the inner corner. Like so. And I'm gonna build it up a little bit because it's oh there we go. There we go, there we go, there she is. So you can build these up, you can build the intensity up on these. Like for five pounds, you really can't go wrong because every shade has worked. I mean, I wish the espresso shade was a little darker, but again, not complaining. So I'm just gonna add a little bit under the brow bone, like so. It's really pretty, that shade. I really quite like that. All the shades are quite soft, but then they pack a punch as well. So it's like the best of both worlds. And then under the eye, I'm gonna take a little bit of blushed first and then kind of uh, put espresso on the outer edges. And then a little bit of espresso. Oh, espresso, you know what? I could really do with a coffee right now. Back on the coffee. I can't believe I'm ill again. Like seriously, I battled COVID this year. Then after that, my wisdom tooth came out. Then after that, I fell off a curb and like literally, bruised my ankle so bad it was so swollen for about a week i couldn't even walk on it properly and now 
I've got a sore throat and I literally am struggling to swallow like even water. I can't drink water. And I'm just like, give me a break. What a year. What a year so far. Okay, and I think that's the finished eye look. So I'm going to do liner, lashes, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I've got my liner and lashes on. I'm actually wearing the Primark like mascara that I used in a video not too long ago. It's the HD Fanatic one. And I actually quite like the way my lashes look. They look a little bit clumpy, but in a good way. Let me show you guys. It's, it's actually this one. And the brush is like this. Initially, I wasn't the biggest fan, but now I love it. I don't even know what possessed me to do this hair today, but it was just basically sheer laziness. Right, so let's talk about the makeup. So, before we go into the makeup, let's talk about fragrance. I absolutely die for this. This smells so good. And it's like, it's like a really light scent. I feel like if you like bold scents, you're gonna be spritzing this all day, but it just leaves like a really nice light, rose oud kind of like just like a romantic scent on you it's just so pretty my absolute star of this video is this so this is the cream wand the charlotte tilbury highlighter dupe it is so beautiful on the skin like legit you cannot tell it's on it's very thin this is that's exactly what you want i just feel like it's like a gel like consistency so it feels like you've got skincare on and it kind of like i've got like a little spot somewhere around here you know what it's kind of melted into the skin like you can't even tell this is like doing the opposite it's kind of hiding your blemishes it's so nice and the color is really pretty as well it's like a peachy silvery every single time you know what every single time i'm filming that bloody air freshener thing goes off <laughs> So yeah, no, this is a fave and I'll be using this all the time and I think this is so worth it. Save your £25, however much the Charlotte Tilbury one is. This one is £4, does the same thing. It's it's great. <laughs> Last but not least, it's this eyeshadow palette and this is what she looks like after she's been used. I wish this shade at, at the end was a little darker. Like it barely showed up on me and I would say I'm a light to medium skin tone at the moment. So if you're like medium deep, like it'll be a nice transition shade, but this ain't gonna deepen anything. I think generally the palette is really nice. It's a great Charlotte Tilbury dupe. The, the formula is very, very soft. So they kind of blend out very easily and you have to do minimal work. This is great for a beginner, great for someone who's on the go great for you know people who just love that color story and uh, does not want to splash out like 20 30 pounds on an eyeshadow palette you've got the same color story here and the shadows they work yeah i think this has been a really positive <laughs> video to be honest i knew it would because primark makeup is just it's just great it's great it's great you cannot complain for this price point you cannot complain you know what i just want to say the, the the packaging on this is so looks as well like it's really nice this will get ruined in my collection in like 2.5 seconds because I have a habit of like having foundation fingertips and they're all over and it's kind of already kind of got a stain here. <laughs> yeah, for someone who likes things like this on their vanity and can keep things clean, this would look really pretty on there. Another positive video. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on my next one.